this webinar. It's a very exciting time for us here in OneCoin, a very exciting webinar. We're very privileged this afternoon and this evening to have Dr. Ruja Ignatova uh, on our webinar, who is the founder and CEO of OneCoin. Um, for those of you who don't know who Dr. Ruja is and don't know her background, uh, before I introduce you, I've just put a slide up showing her biography, her background, because uh, she really truly is a phenomenal woman with a, a phenomenal um, educational background and work background, um, all before the age of 34, by the way. Dr. Ruja is the uh, sole owner and founder of OneCoin. She uh, was born in Sofia in Bulgaria. She has a master's in law from the Oxford, Oxford University and master's in economics from Constance in Germany and a PhD in European business law from Oxford and Constance. After university, she left to join McKinsey and Company as one of their youngest partners, uh, specializing in corporate banking, private equity, asset management, risk management, and so on. So as you can see, you know, if you're getting involved in a business that has a financial angle to it, uh, such as a cryptocurrency business, really who better to have her hands on the steering wheel, so to speak, have a really safe pair of hands on the wheel than someone with a huge background in corporate finance, banking, law, and so on. So I think everyone here can feel comfortable that they're in very, very safe hands. Um, as you can see from the next slide, not only does she have a tremendous and stellar reputation and background in uh, educationally, and also in her uh, work career, I mean, which you can see here, she's worked with Spare Bank, Unicredit, Allianz, Raffaele, Deutsche Bank, major banks. But she was also awarded Businesswoman of the Year, not just once, but two times. I was fortunate enough last month in December to uh, be at the award ceremony in Bulgaria where she was given overall winner for really for the OneCoin uh, project as well. So I think everyone here can also take some uh, some satisfaction in that they helped uh, Dr. Ruja also win that prize. Uh, I think it's phenomenal for all of us to have that kind of credibility working for us. So without any further ado, what I'd like to do is introduce you to Dr. Ruja. If you haven't heard from her before, this is going to be a real treat for you. Uh, I know she's got some brand new slides to share with you, and she's really going to be going tonight into the details of the whole mining operation. Now, for those of you who do not understand mining, this will become apparent, but mining is a cryptocurrency term, and it simply means using the computer to find solutions to the algor algorithm or, um, or, or company or formula, so to speak. Okay, so without any further ado, what I'd like to do is uh, bring Dr. Ruja on. Let me just see if she's here and make her a speaker. Dr. Ruja, give me one second. Let's make you a speaker and then we'll be, there you go, make you a presenter. As soon as we see you on, online, Dr. Ruja, take over. The floor is yours. I'll bring up your slides for you to get started. Give me one second, Dr. Ruja. Okay, turn voice on. Hello, Nigel, do you hear me? Yes, I can. Can everybody else hear Dr. Ruja? Please let me know if you can hear Dr. Ruja, then I'll mute my own sound. Dr. Ruja, I think you've gone again. Hello, Dr. Ruja. Hello. Yes. Okay, keep talking. We can hear you now. Very, very well. Paul, thank you all for attending this very, very Dr. Ruja, you need to speak up. Dr. Ruja, you need to speak up. I need to speak up, you're saying. Is this better, Nigel? Oh, that's, that's much better. You're much closer to your mic. Okay, go, go, go for it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is a very, very special webinar today. I would like to explain more details about the mining. I would like to guide you through why mining is so important for our company. And also, I would like to address a lot of questions that you have been asking through the week to support to me and to our people. Uh, thank you for the input from the field. I received a lot of questions from you, and I will try to handle all of them. And if you have time, I will also address questions if you guys have on the chat. So first of all, um, I would like to say how proud I am 
last, uh, the week before last week, on the 20th of January, we mined the first coins together in Hong Kong. And I see some of you here were actually with me mining the coins. And this first is 60,000 coins we gave in a lucky draw to some of our members. So the first 60,000 coins went to the network and we had six lucky winners and uh, I think you all saw the pictures on Facebook and going around. So congratulations to the winners. Uh, I think all of them were from Asia actually. So why is mining so important or uh, what is special about mining? We all who are on this webinar know this chart actually. So today I want not to speak about the phenomenon development of Bitcoin, which increased 75 times in 2013, but I would like to show you this here of Bitcoin. This was the beginning of the coin, and this is when the mining of Bitcoin started. So this is, gentlemen, uh, because I'm not sure if we have, oh, we have also some ladies. So this is where we stand today, actually. This is when we started mining the first coins. The first block of the coins is called the so-called Genesis block, and this is what we did on the 20th of January. Since then, we have been mining constantly on and off, and uh, you have probably seen the new ticker in red on our website where you see how many coins in total have been mined. Now, I checked 10 minutes ago, uh, and we had 2,270,000 coins mined already. So we switched on the blockchain and the blockchain runs and you can see this in the back office and I will, um, you know, I will explain a bit more on the, on the blockchain and show you some details on it because our blockchain looks a bit different from Bitcoin and I will tell you why. So this is where we are and as we see I think we have a lot of potential to move uh, with our coin. Bitcoin started 2009, we started now in the beginning of 2015, and let us see where we'll be in one, two, or three years. Now, why investing in one coin is such a good investment? I will tell you some things why we are better than Bitcoin, because we receive this question so often. Why is one coin better than Bitcoin? First of all, one coin, I believe, will be better than Bitcoin because our network is different than Bitcoin and because I believe very, very strong that our network will be bigger than, Netcoin, uh, than Bitcoin. Bitcoin currently has about 250,000 people who are using the coin and we already have about 53,000 people after four months. Our first event, and Ari, remind me, I think I see you on this thing, you were there, was in Finland on the 27th of September. Now, only four months later, we are above 50,000 people and growing very, very fast. We have more than 1,000 signups per day, and the good thing is. Hello, can you hear me? It sounds as though, yeah, I got, since I got kicked out of the room, it looks like someone else has logged in as the organizer as well. I think that might have done it. You can hear me. Okay. We need to try and get Dr. Ruja back on. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, just give me a second. Let's try and get Dr. Ruja back on because, 
Okay, let's clear status. Well, where is Dr. Rusha now? Sebastian. Okay, give me one second, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay. Sebastian, can you hear me? Hi, hi Nigel. This is Sebastian here. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. It looks like Dr. Rouge seems to have dropped off the call. I can't find uh, Okay, I, I, I have texted her uh, on another line, so oh, I here. think she might be logging in again. Yeah, she's just logged in again. Let's see if we can get her, make a presenter. All right. Okay, Dr. Rouge, can you hear now? Are you in? Okay, she's, she, the sound is just coming on now. No. Okay, Dr. Rusha. Sorry for this. Sorry. It's okay. So, no, what I was speaking Dr. Of... Rusha, people are asking for procedures yeah. on details on the mining. So, yeah. just to bring you up to right. speed. So, thank you so much. Now, let us move uh, very, very quickly to the next slide, uh, which is very, very important before we move on to the procedures. Um, the market capitalization of the coin. So, now. This is a chart that we should keep in, in our eyes and just keep in mind when we, um, when we mine the coin. These are the top 10 cryptocurrencies, and we target to make number 9 until the next event, which will be in May. So keep an eye on this. Number 10, who we are currently trying to beat, is Peercoin with a market capitalization of 7.4 million. I believe that we will make this until May because we have so many tokens already escrowed for cryptocurrency. So keep this in mind and we will be soon here and maybe even higher. So now you asked about the procedures of mining. So why don't I move there and just answer some technical questions on this. First of all, this is the new dashboard. Please watch this one here, which shows you your total one coins. So whatever you mine will come here and you will be able to see here the number of your one coin. Here you see the mining dashboard. Now here you're either mining or not mining. If you have submitted tokens for the mining, you are mining. If you have not submitted tokens to the mining, uh, this graph shows you're not mining. What will come in the next days is this one here which will show you when the next mining difficulty will come. The next mining difficulty, this I can say on this webinar, uh, I have not communicated yet, will come after 43.2 million of coins have been mined. Then the difficulty will go up by 0 0.25 tokens. And as I see the mining signups, I guess this will be in less than four weeks. So whoever signs up now, we will mine at this mining difficulty. In four weeks, the numbers will be different. So, moving to the next slide, which shows the mining button. You have two options how you can submit for the mining. One is you can submit, for example, 10,000 tokens. With this 10,000 tokens, you go into the mining process, and then after you go into the mining process, you receive your coins. Currently, if you go through this road, you will mine for five tokens per coin, and you will receive for 10,000 tokens 2,000 coins. Very simple, you push the submit button, then you will receive a pop-up asking you, are you sure? If you say yes, you go into the mining. If you say no, of course, you will not go to the mining. Much more interesting, however, is this one here, automatically mining. What does automatically mining mean? Automatically mining 
means that you automatically will mine with all tokens you receive when buying from your mandatory account and you even can submit all tokens you have in your account and then you mine at a preferential rate of four tokens. Now four tokens is 25% um, uh, off of the normal rate and the question is why do we do this as a company? Why would we let you mine at a preferential rate? We want to start the trading, the trading with a coin as soon as possible. Currently, we have 2 million coins mined. And you must understand that trading with only 2 millions will not be very exciting and not a lot of things will go on. So we will start the trading as soon as we have done two mining difficulties in about 80 million of coins mined. So it depends on you guys when we start the mining, but we should have some liquidity on the market before we start trading the coin. And this, I think, will be very, very soon. The higher the mini mining difficulty, uh, the more coins we find and the higher the coin price will be. This you should also keep into account. The higher the coin difficulty, the higher the price. Currently, the coin price is 50 cents set by the difficulty. But the more and more than the higher the difficulty goes, the higher uh, the price will come. So now I would like to go uh, through, the, through the questions that you guys have. and um, how this will go. Now I told you manually you can submit tokens for mining. You choose how many tokens you submit, 5 tokens, 10 tokens, 25,000 tokens, and here 5 tokens are equal to 1 coin. You can do this anytime and um, then the tokens are taken from your account, go into the mining pools, and then 1 to 4 days later the coins are in your account. Why not immediately? Because the coins need to be mined. And why not after one day or 12 hours or whatever, currently there's a waiting list for the mining. So you are queued on the next available space. On the automatically mining, as I said, it's four tokens per coin. And when you subscribe to automatically mining, then uh, this submission is valid for three months. So you make a decision to mine with all new tokens for three months and submit all available tokens. Now, I see here a lot of questions on the splits. Now, what happens if my account has not split it yet? What happens if I'm a tycoon and my account has split it only once? I'm entitled to a split, of course. What happens if I upgraded my account? I'm entitled to another split. Now, first of all, every account can split up to three times. This is very, very important. If I'm on a starter package, my account will split once. If I upgrade my starter package to a trader, the account will split another time. If I upgrade the account again to executive trader, this account will split a third time. Now, if I have a starter package and upgrade to a tycoon, again, the account splits three times maximum, not more than three times. So, now let's assume you join one coin today or you speak to a prospect who wants to join one coin today your prospect joins on a starter package and has 1000 tokens and this person of course wants to start mining and not to wait for the escrow period to be gone because the earlier you join the cheaper you mine the coin in four weeks he will join the mining for 25 uh, for 0 0.25 tokens more now we as a company understand this and what we want to do is the following. We would like to give you for the next three months a special promotion. This promotion lets you have actually all. You can mine now and you still can get the split. So everybody who has escrow tokens will receive from me as a company a kind of overdraft. So I give you tokens to start mining and whenever you split you will give me back the tokens. But everybody who currently has, let's say, 1,000 escrow tokens can go, can mine, and still get the split. So there is no disadvantage at all for anybody to start mining now. This is something very, very special, and I announced it in Thailand on our event two days ago, which was a very special and beautiful event, by the way. And then people ask me, are you sure you want to do this? And I said, yes. We are sure because we want to start the trading with the coin as soon as we can. So this is something that is special 
and that is valid for three months. Afterwards, we'll probably not make this happen anymore for the people. But whatever you do, whatever you do, you can join the mining now. Now, there's also a second option. What if you're on a tycoon package? Your tokens are not escrowed anymore. You have, um, let's say, 150,000 tokens in your account. Should you join the mining too, or should you wait for the second split? Now, here again, we as a company keep a record of every token you put into the mining, and you will receive these tokens in the split. Again, this is something that we will not do forever, only three months. And this is uh, something to kick off the mining, to make you comfortable with it, and to start the trading of the coin as soon as possible. So I hope this promotion will make it also easier for you to excite more people for one coin before the event in Dubai. So again, should I mine now or wait? This question, I don't know, I received 1,000 times. Now let me give you an example. Let's say you have 12 tokens in your account today. So you have 12 tokens and you put them in the automatic mining and mine at a preferential rate. What will happen? You receive three one coins. Now in one year, as we always have said, one coin will have, will have a value of two euro 50 to five euro per coin. And I believe in this very, very much. If I see the growth of the company, it's amazing. So with three coins, you will have a value of seven euro 50 to 15 euro in one year. So yes, I would win today if I were you. But of course you have the second option, and this is also you know, an option. You can go today and sell the 12 tokens on the exchange. Today the rate the exchange was 11, uh, was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 11.8. So you would receive for your 12 tokens 1 euro 46 today. It's still more than you paid for it in the package, but obviously you see there's a reason why we're called one coin and not one token. We are here in for the coin and we would like to boost this coin to make it valuable and to invest in this coin long term. So this is something that you should keep in mind when you make your decision. And I believe that in four weeks from today, the mining difficulty will grow up. So I would like to move now to some questions that I received from the network. And you guys can, uh, we will upload after the webinar in the back office. And if you guys have more questions, of course, I will answer them. Now, where do I sign up for the mining? So, one, where do I sign up for the mining? You go to the back office, you go to exchange, and then to the mining off, uh, menu. On the left side, you can find these menus that I showed you. One set uh, of different questions is, do I need a special software to mine? No. Why don't you need a special graphic card? Or why don't you need a server? Why don't you need special software? You do not need special software because we mine in pools. You join a pool, the company provides the resources and the hardware for the mining, and then distributes the coins to you. So how many coins have been mined? This you can see on ticker of the website. Well, how, when will the mining difficulty increase? Again, here, uh, we will publish this in the back office. I already told you the number, 43.2 million coins, and the next mining difficulty will kick in. How do we know? Well, there are mathematical models. You have seen this actually for Bitcoin on the internet, where you put in the cost of electricity, the coins mined, and then the algorithm tells you when the next difficulty comes in. Now. You have seen uh, how many coins can be mined per day. This is the maximum of coins that can be mined per day. It is 1.4 million coins. And uh, this is calculated based on the blockchain being 10 minutes per block. Now, sometimes the blockchain can take more than 10 minutes. Sometimes we mine less than these coins because less people have signed up. So. This is the maximum of coins that can be mined per day. Currently, we are mining slightly less coins because people need to adjust themselves and to customize to the back office. I can tell you, however, that approximately 25% of you have put all their tokens for the mining. 25% of all tokens in the market are currently in the mining pools. 
And we take it slow so that everybody has time to familiarize themselves with the back office to push the buttons they need to push and they want to push. And um, this is currently the numbers. Now, what does the blockchain show? First of all, the blockchain shows how many coins have been mined per block. Every block gets 10,000 coins out. Also, the blockchain shows uh, if any transactions happen. Now, somebody wrote to me very upset in the network and said, oh my god, but why is the OneCoin blockchain different from Bitcoin blockchain? So many things happening on Bitcoin blockchain. Yes, this is true. Our blockchain currently is not very busy, but this is because there are not so many transactions happening in our network. Now, if we had so many millions of coins like Bitcoin has and so many customers already trading, of course, much more transactions would be going on. But currently, what you see is the number of coins that have been mined and when we make transfers from the big wallet to the customer wallet. So there's not more that we can show in this chain except the coins mining and the transaction. Now, all of you know about the escrow tokens for cryptocurrency or all of you who did a split. These tokens will go to the mining. Now, the question is, when will they go to the mining? So the tycoon will not go now yet because they have another split to go. If you guys are on a tycoon and want these uh, tokens to go into the mining, I will not do it automatically for you. Please push the button and I would do so if I was you because you anyways will split with them again. All other tokens we will announce when they will go into the mining. And what I will try to do is to make this happen before the next difficulty kicks in. So these people mine at a preferential rate. So this should happen in the next two weeks. You will receive a pop-up, an email telling you, guys, this coin, these tokens will go into the mining, and then you will be able to do this. But please, it would be much better if you sign up for automatic mining, because then you mine at four tokens and not at five tokens. So now I have here in the chat, what does automatic mining mean? Will it take for me three months to mine the coin? No. No, what this means is automatic tokens. Thank you, Rex. It's very, very correct what you're saying. It means that for the next three months, all of the tokens you buy from your mandatory account will go into the mining. So if you press today automatic mining, I think that your coins will be in your account in the next five days if there's no big waiting list for the mining. But all the tokens that you receive in your mandatory account in the next three months also automatically go to the mining, a very nice solution for you. You don't need to think, you get a preferential rate, and this preferential rate will most probably keep even after the next mining difficulty. Thank you for this question, a very good one. So, how often does an account split? I think this one I explained, but still I think it's a very, very uh, valid question, and you should know. And um, the second question, should I wait for the split before I made mine please don't wait for the split before you mine because this promotion will not be here forever you can mine now for four tokens per coin and you still will get the split i said an exciting announcement will be made on thursday but i saw that nitro already made it on tuesday so uh this is the promotion that we are doing now until dubai and i think this is very very good because you get not only the tokens now you can mine but also the split later now, how long do you have to wait until your coins are mined? I don't know. To be very honest, it depends always on the waiting list. Currently, the waiting list is between three and five days. This can change in future. It depends. Uh, why does it sometimes take for a block longer than 10 minutes? So why does it take longer? I said a, a blockchain in average is 10 minutes. It can take longer, up to 30 minutes, sometimes even one hour. It's nothing to be worried about. This is even normal in the beginning, and we constantly work actually to speed up the blockchain. Um, it depends on how many coins we want to mine per day. And we let the blockchain run continuously, so if there are transactions, they can be confirmed. So even if the blockchain is taking a bit longer, this is nothing to worry about and nothing wrong. If you check also the Bitcoin web, uh, blockchain, you see that not all transactions and chains are the same um, duration. Now, when does the one coin trading start? 
as I said, we will need about, I think, 80 million of the coins to be mined. And keep in mind, 80 million of the coins is actually less than 10% of the mined coins. So we should have some kind of, you know, uh, coins there to be able to trade. What will we do if we have a bit of coins and nobody wants to sell? I cannot, you, you understand, we have to mine the coins first before we can trade them. If there's nothing on the market, this is very, very difficult for us. So we will wait to mine about 85 to 100 million coins, and then we will put the coins on an exchange. And um, I'm also working to put one coin on one of the public exchanges. There are some new exchanges that might be interesting to put our coin on the exchange even without us going openly. So this is also something we work on today. How many tokens do I need to mine one coin? Now, this I think I said several times. Let me say it again. Five tokens if you mine regularly. If you mine automatically, four tokens per coin. Uh, somebody, um, somebody said, can I somewhere see if I have joined the mining? Yes. When you go in your back office in exchange in mining, it should be saying, you are mining. Now, you are mining does not mean that you are mining right now, but you have submitted your tokens in the mining pools, and then um, soon you will also be able to see to which pool you belong to and when your pool has mined the token. How to mine for four tokens per coin? This goes here also to the question that I see in the chat. Uh, can I go into automatic mining? Do I need to submit? It's just enough if you tick the box and this is okay. So this you can read and you can, we will also translate in Chinese and on some of the other languages. Um, I think this one is um, very, very simple. So. How will I receive the split on my tokens? As I said, if your tokens are escrowed, I will give you an overdraft on them. If they are not escrowed but already free, you mine with them. We keep a record on every coin that goes into the mining from today on and you will get a split. If you go and sell the tokens today, these tokens will not split anymore, of course. But if you mine with them, we will give you a split because we do not want to give you a disadvantage if you mine the coin early. Now. Another question I received is, why can't I see the algorithm of the one coin? Why is it not open source yet? Now, if we would publish the algorithm of one coin today, this would be very bad for us as a network, because then everybody can join the mining, not only the people from the network who have packages. Then the mining goes outside our BV system, outside the the network actually and then um, this is something that we do not do so there were people confused in the network and said why can't we see the algorithm you cannot see the algorithm because the algorithm is not open source yet you can only see the blockchain now the blockchain and many of us say this I'm not an IT person please help me how do I know this blockchain is real or just not some fake that you put on the website now this is a good question, and uh, what we try to do as a company, and nobody has done this before, is we will hire in the next four to six weeks an auditor, so a proper auditor, who will audit the blockchain every month. Now, I don't know of any cryptocurrency who does this. So there will be a person, an auditor, a professional person, who is uh, by law very knowledgeable and an expert, with an IT team, and these people will check the blockchain every month so no coins are mined outside the chain and no transactions made outside. Now, this I think is really much more than any other company I know does, and uh, we want to provide this for our members who, as I say, many of us are not IT experts, but they, uh, you know, they want to know. So, Now, also another question which is very, very technical is, why do we measure the difficulty in tokens? Now, tokens are our internal currency. So we measure the, the tokens in a financial model. Every token has a value. As we know, we have them on the exchange. We have them everywhere in the packages. So these tokens um, are... Um, um, 
in um, in our um, in our system, and this is how we measure uh, the difficulty. The value of the tokens we calculate based on the market value, measured based on the number of splits, and based on some promotions on the market. And this is actually how this function. The algorithm of one coin, please, a lot of people ask me, is this like uh, is this like Bitcoin? No, we are not an altcoin. Um, we do not use the Bitcoin algorithm. We have done our own. Um, uh, we have done our own algorithm. When will the next difficulty come? The next difficulty will come after 43.2 million of mine coins, and then the difficulty will be 525, 425 tokens. Interesting, all of you who want to know what our market capitalization is, we will start showing this very soon. The market capitalization we calculate by number of mine coins times market price. So if the current market price is 50 cents and we have about 2 million coins mined, currently our market capitalization is how much? Roughly 1 million euros. So we are getting close to number, number 10, which is 7.4 million. And this after how long? One week of mine. How many tokens can I maximum or minimum commit into mining? As many as you wish is the answer. So you can go in with five tokens, you can go with 500 tokens or with 5,000 tokens. Now, some of you ask me, what if I submit six tokens? How many coins will I receive? Now, you have maybe seen in you uh, that there's up to eight digits after the decimal. So you will receive 1.25 coins. A question, is there any charge for automatic mining? No, there is no other charge for automatic mining. Automatic mining is actually cheaper than uh, manual mining. So there are no charges here. You can mine um, for four tokens per coin, no charges. Now, should I mine now or wait? This I showed you on, a, on another page. I think everybody should mine now. Because now you mine at the lowest price ever for one coin. This will never happen again. The difficulty of this can only go up. I think in four weeks time, this coin will go up in value, even maybe earlier, as the difficulty goes. Um, why does the blockchain look different than Bitcoin? I told you Bitcoin currently does many, many, many transactions. Well, we are still in the beginning. So ours is a baby blockchain, to be honest. This blockchain currently mines, mines, mines coins, but there are no transactions going on because people are not, uh, not transferring a lot of tokens next to each other. When we open the trading, more and more transactions will come. One day when we open also the credit card and link it to the cryptocurrency, then it will be really, really a lot of things going on. But you have to understand that our blockchain currently just starts. So, of course, Bitcoin, who does billions of transactions, we cannot uh, currently compare both blockchains. Now, there are some people who are very, very sad because they did not understand the four tokens per automatic mining. So they made a mistake and they uh, did not uh, submit for automatic mining, but only for the normal mining. Now, because we understand that every beginning is very, very difficult, uh, if you notify support at one coin you, uh, then and tell them that you made a mistake, we will put you on automatic mining and we'll handle this for you. I will not um, keep it up uh, very long. You have one week from today on to notify us that you made a mistake, and then we will uh, handle your request, but afterwards it will not be possible. So if somebody made a mistake, please let us know. We will fix this for you, uh, but it's very, very important that you let us know. Otherwise, you leave 20% of the coins on the table, and this is really bad. Now let me see what kind of uh, questions do I have. These are the frequent asked questions that I prepared and that came in from the network. We will publish them today also in the back end. Uh, now let me see here what's happening. 
Now, somebody is asking me, the automatic mining for mandatory token, if I press automatic mining, does it include other tokens? Yes. Now, we will give you from next week two options on automatic mining. Today, it's like this, all of your tokens go into the mining. From next week on, you can choose two options. One can be go with all tokens, or one can be only with new tokens. But if you press today, it will be uh, all tokens. Yeah? So, from next week, we give you both options. Uh, in which, uh, or what is the base of the one coin uh, value increase, I think? So, now, the value of a coin increases by several, uh, several points. One is uh, the base, the customer base. The more people we are, the more valuable a coin is. Uh, for example, Bitcoin um, is... Um, Bitcoin is uh, a currency which is very well known. This is why it is so valuable. We had coins valued at above $1,000. So the bigger our network becomes, the higher our price will become because more and more people want to come to the network. The second thing which is very, very important for the value of the coin is the mining difficulty. Normally, if you pay to create an asset, let's say, one euro asset costs also one euro on the market. So the one of the main drivers is the new coins that we mine and the mining difficulty. Uh, uh, now I see that uh, in the presentation says until end of May. Yes, until end of May is the promotion and somebody tells me this is four months. February, March, April, May. Yes, this is correct. It's four months. Yes, until end of May the promotion will go. Now, if my token account has 20,000 tokens and I submit all and then press automatic mining, yes, then all tokens will go into the mining. And if you are entitled to one more split, then or upgrade your package, we will still give you the split, which is very, very good. So, do you have more questions on the mining? I am not sure um, about this question. Why people accept one coin than Bitcoin? Um, there's maybe you check the back office. There's one slide showing what the advantages of one coin are, to, uh, and uh, what is better and different than Bitcoin. So Nigel, in this case, I would just uh, give over to you. And uh, maybe you can say some more words, and maybe also Sebastian can give us some insights from the network, because a lot of things have been going on and how people perceive the mining and how it's going on. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure speaking to you. And I'll do another webinar um, at 60. Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Thank you so much, Dr. Ruja, for a, a, a precise and concise explanation of the mining. For those of you uh, who want to review this, it'll be up on our YouTube channel by tomorrow morning and also our Facebook account. But also, as Dr. Ruja just said, in approximately two hours and 15 minutes, we will be actually going through uh, another webinar with the same material. So I urge you to get all of your team members around the world on the next webinar, because obviously we're dealing with different time zones. So I, I really do appreciate all of your attention tonight. Uh, we've had a huge turnout. What I'd like to do is actually turn you over for some words of wisdom from Sebastian Greenwood, who is our master distributor and um, very well known to many of you in the network. So. Uh, he can, as Dr. Ruja said, give you some feedback from the field, so to speak, of what people have been saying to him since we went live with the mining. Sebastian, are you there? Okay, Sebastian. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Nigel, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Nigel? Hello? Yeah, you're loud and clear. I'm okay, yes, very yes. good. So good, good evening, everybody. It's great to see such a big crowd on these webinars, uh, and it's very important that we do these webinars because education is everything. Uh, we know, of course, from the field that training of leadership and training of your downlines with the correct information is the key to success in a business like this. 
Now, I can tell you that most of the big leaders that we have in the organization are very well informed on the types of situations, what we're coming into now with the mining. And the whole thing about this company, and this has been always the case with this company, is that we are creating a cryptocurrency, a completely new cryptocurrency in the industry. Now, the whole value creation of that side of the business, putting the network aside, is mining the coin. Now, the value creation of mining the coin is what the focus should be lying on. Now, of course, some people say, well, I just really want to, to quickly come into this business, build some volume, and then get out. Well, then that, this is the wrong company for you. This company is definitely a company where we come in on an education package. We learn about the, the mining. We learn about why to trade cryptocurrency and the whole kind of profit situation with coming in as a miner in uh, cryptocurrency industry and particularly with one coin. So everybody needs to start thinking about the mining situation. This is it, guys. This is where the whole value lies in this company. The more people who mine this one coin, the more people will profit because the price of the coin gets pushed up. That is the basic correlation between mining and the price in the market. So I would just like to encourage all the leaders on this call to really educate your people on the mining. Get them to do the automatic mining if they don't want to log in on a daily basis on their back office and do their mandatory accounts, etc. with the tokens. You can make it easy for them. It's a one, two, three step process. Now really make sure that your people understand what OneCoin is about. With the kind of growth that we have currently and we've seen in the past months, we can actually understand that this business, OneCoin, is here to explode the market. We have today had here in Bangkok some very interesting meet with some new markets that will start opening up and definitely will really start putting a lot of people into the system. So I encourage a lot of you out there to make sure to use the mining as one of your arguments when you are selling these education packages. Before we did not have the mining, but the mining has started now. So it's very, very easy to get everybody to come in on a package and start mining directly. There is no limitations during this promotion that Dr. Rusha launched where you cannot mine the coin. If the people do not understand the mining part, we need to educate them because that is really where the big value lies. So that's what I'd just like to say tonight. I really hope that the, the people on the call understand what's going on with the mining going on with one coin and what we can see in the next two to three months coming is a lot of attraction. Just look at the, uh, the ticker on the front page in terms of seeing the active membership growing, but at the same time seeing how many coins are being mined. It's, you know, mind blowing to see all these numbers growing on a daily basis. So, Everybody, thank you very much. This is Sebastian Greenwood, your master distributor. I am thanking you for being on the call. Good night from Bangkok, Thailand. Over to you, Nigel. Yes, uh, you just noticed I typed there in the uh, chat bar. Just as Sebastian was talking, we hit 53,000 paid members. Okay, guys? These, by the way, these aren't free signups. These are 53,000 paid members. And guess what? All of you are in at not only the ground floor, you're in at the basement level. This is a sub ground floor. 53,000 in a population of seven and a half billion people around the world is nothing. We haven't even got out of the gate. Everyone here stands to make an absolute fortune if you stay the distance. So with that, I'm going to leave you with that thought. We have another call in a few hours.
and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you. See you at the top.